question what is swami meant by saying that when la- when emotion enters the logic disappears like what i feel is like how we discussed before like suppose we're watching a scary movie we just get involved in the movie and we get scared completely forgetting that it's just a movie and all that so we get into emotion of fear when we're watching the movie so the whole logic that it's just a movie nothing's going to happen all that will just go from you because when you're watching a movie that emotion completely fills you so logic doesn't come in but i have a question does that mean that no we're not isha just because we haven't experienced that what i feel is like yes we are ishwara but because we put layers of incompletions around us we become like someone incomplete like how swam ji gave the example of the shivalinga like the stone itself is like inside the shivalinga is there and is just uh, surrounded with the incompletions so whenever the like the pieces of the rock just gets chipped off then all the incompletions just move away and the linga is there so when the linga is there the linga is ishwara so what i feel is like we are ishwara but because of our incompletions we start feeling that we are something else like if you see we are all still ishwar only inside but we need to realize it like we all the idea what we have about ourselves is just like like how swami ji told it's an iron curtain to uh, which is not just a life it's also like stopping us from realizing who we are like if you take an example if you take diamond and cover it nicely with lot of mud and all it's still diamond is diamond but just because we are unable to see its uh, shine we can't just tell no it's the, the diamond is not any more diamond it has become spoiled and all so even after that even if you're going to remove the dust and see it diamond is going to still glow as it is so what i feel is is just the idea which we have what ourselves which needs to be changed that's why swam ji gives us this shivoham process and also like yesterday how swam ji gave that samaya diksha where it will lead us to the experience like for us to experience the real us so what i feel is only the idea which we have about ourselves is a blockage for us to realize who we are and for us to experience the ishwaratva in serious um back in may of this year i attended ia in varanasi and upon completing um my time there i decided to spend some time at the ashram and upon arriving here i decided to do the ananda yoga program to deepen my to deepen the things i had learned from ia and to create the space and the right context for my life moving forward and uh, with the goal of being able to enrich the lives of my friends and family and to take all the things that Swami Ji was uh able to impart to me at IA and be able to translate that and present it and enrich the lives of the people that I care about being in the energy field of the ashram and Swami Ji um you're put in a position where you are constantly you're put in positions where you're 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 constantly completing and whatever incompletions that were apparent to you before and especially the ones that weren't um apparent to you are <laughs> very much brought to the surface but the benefit of doing this program here at the ashram and in swami ji's um energy field is that once those incompletions come up you can very quickly complete with them and move on to the next one which is a very liberating practice and it's done in a very supportive environment um kind of cocooned from the outside world so one of the things i would like to share with people um and something that i've come to realize about myself and this is not coming out of ego or anything like that is that this step towards swami ji and towards really realizing yourself like your true essence and your being takes courage and before making any decisions look in and just truly like you know see how courageous you want to be and i i just want everybody to join me Nithya Nandan if i have to describe the hindu shastras scriptures knowledge covered by knowledge covered by knowledge covered on the heap of knowledge covered on the heap of knowledge knowledge heap 
covered by knowledge heap. If I have to describe the Hindu pilgrim centers, devotion covered by devotion, covered by devotion, covered by devotion. If I have to describe Kumbha Mela, excitement, covered by excitement, covered by excitement, covered by excitement. If I can, I will stand on the rooftop or the mountain top or the top of any tallest tower and only thing scream, don't miss Kumbha Mela! Kumbha Mela!